Took a swing at a wrecking ball and I prayed for my downfall and I found a way to reconcile Cause in my heart it's not worthwhile It's a bloody battle Hello and a very warm welcome to the Golf Dutch YouTube channel If you don't know my name, it's Lee Pleasure to have you along with us and uh, hope you're going to stay for a little while. So you may remember a little while ago I did a review on the Lynx VT iron and yeah it was a really nice iron. I sent that one back and Lynx were very kindly enough sent me another one and it's a Lynx to a bladed iron. First appearances looks beautiful. It looks just like a normal blade would so if you go anywhere and have a look at a blade it just looks as normal as them do what we can see is the chrome finish looks beautiful small head with a thin top line now you're always going to get that with a blade regardless of which company makes it that's fine i like that i like the look of it one thing i do want to say is many people have this skepticism about blades and higher handicappers can't use them i beg to differ on that one uh, i started off with a set of blades I, my first handicap was 28. so what's stopping you yes the forgiveness isn't there like it is with a cavity back i get that i understand that as well and uh, they're not necessarily for everybody and again i appreciate that fact and i'm sure some of you guys out there have used blades before and maybe switched to cavity backs or gone from cavity backs to blades i currently play a uh, cavity muscle back iron which if you've watched the previous vlogs you'll see which ones they are and they're going to be put up against a test in this vlog um, they are available fully custom fit like I say you can get them in the three shafts options um, but it is only steel shaft and only right handed as well so if you are a left hander I do apologise but I don't make them so let's hit some golf balls let's see what it feels like on the driving range and then we'll go and get some numbers and we'll see if it's any different to my current irons Comment down below if you think it will be better or worse Known statistically that a blade Unless you hit it out the middle Doesn't necessarily go as far As your cavity back iron So comment down below What do you think of the look of it? Would you play it? And do you think it's going to be better than my current clubs? There's a golfer in me somewhere. So we've hit some and first impressions, the thing looks stunning. I've been hitting it quite well. Hit it out the center, which is happy days. And again, what Lynx are saying was that when you hit it out the center, it's a soft feeling golf club. Don't get me wrong. If you hit it out the toe of the heel, it might rattle your fingers a little bit, which if you've had cavity backs, you'll felt that little rattle, but on a blade, it kind of is amplified a little bit. So I think it's more important that we see some data as well. So for the test, we hit 10 with the Callaway and we hit 10 with the Lynx. All done on Skytrack. Question why I, I, 
I'm too sad to say I'm sorry, so lie And pretend that you're okay I didn't think I could hit him much better than that. So let's go through the numbers provided from the Callaway 7 iron that I hit. As you can see, the shaft is a Project X 6.0 and the loft is 34 degrees. And like, like I said earlier, your normal ones range anywhere from 31 to 35 degrees. So it's within them parameters on there as well. So average ball speed was 109 miles per hour. There was some faster, there was some slower, but on the average of the 10 shots, 109 miles an hour. Happy with them numbers. I cannot be disappointed with them at all. Ball speed was sitting around about a 6400 or 6354, I think it was. Again, great numbers. You know, they're absolutely fantastic numbers being produced by the club that I have, and you can see them all here. I'm not hiding them. You're seeing the 10 shots, you're seeing the, the good ones and some of the bad ones as well. But this is why it's a fair test because I'm showing you the true data. So, through the air, the ball flew 149 yards on average out of the 10 shots. Again, some further, some not so far. But they had a nine yard roll out to 158 yards. 160 yard seven iron, I'm really happy with. You know, granted there are days where I may hit it longer, but there are days where I'll hit it shorter. So this is why the average comes into perfection here. And 158 average is bang on the money. Club head speed, 82 miles an hour. I'm really happy with the 82 miles an hour. I can't stress how happy I am with my current golf club. But this is why it's a review, because I'm putting it up against what I currently use and obviously we're reviewing the Lynx. So let's see what the Lynx's numbers are and see if they're any different. So let's go through the numbers of the Lynx to a blade. And let's start, with, like we did last time, with the ball speed. 113 miles per hour on average. Some faster, some slower. Four mile an hour increase. That's very impressive for a golf club that's not fit for me. It was just sent through the post by the guys and I've, I've generated four miles per hour more ball speed. Fantastic. Spin rate 6873, it's still within the magical parameters. And I'm really happy with them two numbers as well. Average carry, 154, rolling out to 162 on average. That's eight yards of rollout on that golf club. Again, it's gone further through the air with the Lynx and it has with McCallaway. Granted, that'll be down to due to ball speed, club head speed, but we'll go to club head speed in a minute. And I was hitting them both really well. So let's talk about the club head speed. 86 miles per hour on average. The fastest being 90 miles an hour club head speed. And as you can tell from the previous Callaway numbers, that's a big jump. That's a big jump. And what, what, we, what we are gonna get is, there is one degree of difference in the heads. The Lynx is 33, the Callaway is 34. The Lynx is one degree stronger. But that doesn't equate 
to the increase in club head speed and the increase in ball speed. That is down to the shaft and it working properly for me. So let's review the product. First and foremost, cosmetically, it looks absolutely beautiful with the polished chrome finish. Can't deny that. A blade looks really nice on the floor to my eye. May not look nice to your eye, but it looks nice to my eye. So cosmetically, it looks nice. So there's a tick in the box for that one. Price wise, I said in my What's in the Bag 2020, if I could get a set of blades that was reasonably priced, then it would make me think of switching over to a blade. The price for these is £499 brand new. I don't think you can get a decent set of second hand cavity backs for that. And I don't think you'll get a decent set of second hand blades for less than that. But these are brand new. So the price is a great price. You cannot argue with that price at all. Moving on to performance. It's outperformed the Callaway. The numbers are there. There's no hiding any numbers. I'm not making it stand out better than it is. The numbers are there. The numbers do not lie. It is better. So two things I'd like to see from Lynx is maybe better shaft options, but also possibly doing it in a combo set where you've got the VT at the top end of the bag, so your three, four, five, and then from six to pitching wedge in these. It might just open the market up slightly a little bit better to you guys at home because three, four and five irons in a blade can be quite hard to hit. And I guess the question you're probably asking is would I buy them? I'd like to be given more clubs from Lynx of the same ones, so maybe a, a four iron, a six iron, nine iron, something like that to get half a set and have a game with them. Have eight holes here at Carlisle Golf Club with them irons and see how, how I can hit them in a game of golf as opposed to on a driving range where we're just getting numbers. So before I would make the leap, I would have to have something like that. So would I recommend them? If you're in the market for a set of blades, you'd be crazy to give these a miss. They perform the same way as any other ones do. And we've had other people hit these golf clubs that says, it feels no different to the Mizuno. And that's a statement. But on that statement, I'm gonna leave it there. Don't forget, check Link's website out if you do wanna buy anything. And uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. But thank you for taking time out your day. Stay safe, everybody. We'll see you again very soon. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.